Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and Now 2, and in this little bag is possibly the best upgrade you can do for your PC for less than £10. If you like tidy cables, that is. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some right angled connectors or 180 connectors, whatever you want to call them. These are eight pin or six pin connectors for your graphics card. So if you are installing a graphics card and you've got your cables in a horrible mess, like uh, you can see from the footage we recorded a little bit earlier, you can see it looks an absolute mess. And these basically hide some of that potentially if you're using a vertical GPU mount, or even if you're using a horizontal mount, you can get your cables to run nice and flat along the backside of your graphics card, or potentially underneath depending on your needs. Now I should point out there are various types of these connectors available on the market. So let's quickly explain which ones you potentially might need and the options that are available. So the first thing to do is to check your graphics card and see where your physical connector is. Now on this particular palette card here, you can see there is a six pin connector. And if you've got the actual retention lug at the top, then you will need a reverse connector. If, for instance, you've got this connector and it's actually the other way around and the retention lug or the bit that actually stopped the cable coming out is at the bottom, then you want a standard plug. Now, I've got some examples of those here. So this is a six pin standard. So in this configuration, the lug is actually on the bottom. So this would go into a graphics card such as this one. So it would go in like that. So then your cables would run underneath. So that is what they call standard fitting. If you need a reverse one, basically it's the same thing, but it's made upside down. So it would plug into there and then you can run your cable across the top of the graphics card running along here. Now obviously this is a standard one. This card needs a reverse one. So this physically will not fit and don't try and jam it in there because it basically won't work. So do make sure you order the correct ones. I'll put some links in the video description for the various types. If for any reason you're unsure, please do feel free to head over to our Discord, post us a picture of your graphics card and we'll try and help you out and give you links to the ones that will actually be correct for your particular setup. So that is the main thing. Reverse is basically going up or over the top where a standard would be going in and going underneath. Hopefully that makes sense. And obviously, depending on your mounting, horizontal or vertical, exactly the same applies. So if you're having your graphics card upright like this and you want your cables to run forward and down, then you'd want a standard configuration. If you want the cables to come out the back and then along the backside of your card, then you want the reverse situation. And the only other difference is really is the fact that you've either got a six pin connection, such as on this graphics card here, or potentially you might have a eight pin like this one here. Again, this is in the same situation. So this one has the retention lug at the top of the card. So that means this is gonna need a reverse connection. So this one we've got already is not suitable, but the ones we've got from Easy DIY, these are reverse connectors. So literally all you do is get your connector, um, just pop it in. So you may find actually having to wiggle them a little bit because of the way these pins work. They kind of, it's a pin going inside of a pin. So sometimes a little bit of twisting may be necessary, but you can get the general idea. So that is an eight pin in the reverse situation. So if this is in your PC, you can then run your cables along the top there. And to show you how that works, we've got a spare cable here. So literally all you do is if this is coming from your power supply, your standard eight pin or six plus two, just plug it in, snap it to position. And then you can see you can run your cable either at the top or however. So if it's in a horizontal position like this, it's gonna look pretty cool with the cables running off nicely into the back of the case. And also if you're in vertical mount, such as this, then you're gonna see, obviously, this is gonna look much, much cleaner than having a cable coming straight out of the top, which you're, again, you're probably seeing from some B-roll I filmed a little bit earlier. Now the main reason of this is because of my main video editing rig, which ironically you can't actually see, it's hidden away in a cabinet, but it is frustrating me and if, you actually watched our Lian Lee 216 review video, you'll see that it was uh, okay, but I did mention in the video that I wanted to address the cable management because it did look a little bit ugly. And again, you've probably seen it for some B-roll already. So let's dig that bad boy out and uh, get it installed, get our adapters installed and make it look a whole lot cleaner. So here is the PC, as you can see, uh, with our vertically mounted graphics card, which is uh, quite a beast, hashtag blame Dave. So there's three connectors along there, three eight pin connectors, and we've got all the cable in here. Again, you've probably seen some close-ups of this that I filmed a little bit earlier, but it's an absolute pain in the ass to work with and also to manage. You don't want to put too much strain on those connectors because potentially you could damage your extremely expensive graphics card. So that is definitely a no-no. And also this just looks just plain ugly. So we want to 
rectify that. Another thing as well, if you're using connectors which are six plus twos, quite often you have to kind of hold the extra two in, so actually getting in there and doing it, it's just extremely fiddly. So actually changing these out for the kind of 180 degree mounts, or even potentially 90 degree mounts if you want to go that route, is going to make actual use of your PC, and also if you're one of those people that takes your graphics card out all the time, swapping, etc., it's going to make things a lot easier in terms of recabling and uh, reinstalling those connectors. So let's take the uh, old ones off straight away because they, uh, they are annoying me immensely. So that is our cables disconnected and already you can see it is uh, considerably, yeah, it just, it looks a lot nicer. So now we've got our three connectors. Again, these are reversed because we want the cables to go out and down the back and this is going to look a lot cleaner. So all we do, like you would be plugging in a normal cable. Now, of course, if you want to, to make life easier, you can actually plug in your eight pin connectors from your power supply or your cable extensions straight into here, first of all, entirely up to you, or you can just pop these on the top and they'll go straight in. So you can see by the uh, video magic, you can see all three of them are actually connected onto our power supply now. I figured I'd do that straight away, get out of the way. So then all we have to do is literally just plug those into the top of our graphics card. So there you go, by the uh, the power of video editing magic, you can now see those are all installed, all the cables are done nicely down the back, and you can't see actually underneath as well, which is really good, so we've managed to tuck the cables in. This, for me, looks 100% better. I cannot stress to you how much that makes this look so much cleaner and more professional. So if you want to replicate this kind of thing in your own build, check out the links in the video description. This content isn't sponsored in any way, shape, or form by Easy DOI. It's just these seem to be uh, the best connectors that I can find. They work pretty well. There are some really cheap ones on AliExpress, but without testing them fully, I would be slightly dubious of their quality. At least with these from Easy DIY, you can get them from Amazon. If there's any problems with them, you just send them straight back and generally they'll just send you a new set anyway. So there we go. Uh, available in various options. So there's a single, a twin pack and a triple pack, depending on the type of graphics card you want. And also don't forget if you do need either the standard ones, basically where they go down and under, or the reverse ones where they go up and over. So again, if you've got any problems and you're not sure what ones you actually need for your graphics card, head over to our Discord and post a picture of your graphics card and we'll let you know which ones you need for your build. So there you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed this content. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then hit the subscribe button and the chime icon if you notified know of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.